Hi everyone, so today's video is all about trimming your long-haired piggies and here I am in the sewing room with a very fluffy Annie who is definitely due a haircut. Annie is a textile piggy so she has this lovely long curly hair which if left will grow very long so I trim it about uh, most every two months I'd say. I'm just going to show you how I go about trimming Annie's hair and then hopefully you'll pick up some advice and tips along the way. So first things first, it's best to take your piggy into a different room where they can't hear their cage mates and I know this might sound a little mean but um, it's just so they don't get distracted and um, they want now, if they can hear their friends and they'll probably keep wanting to go back into the cage and um, this kind of helps them, taking them away keeps them calmer and uh, more still for us. Um, so things you'll need are a good pair of scissors. Here I have um, these nail scissors. Um, they're not, they're actually bigger than they look probably. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend pointed ones like these for someone who is just starting out with a trimming their long haired piggy. Um, I'd probably recommend those safety scissors that you used to get in school, those ones with the rounded blunt ends. Um, and I used to use them but then they got kind of clogged up and they wouldn't cut so well. You'll also want to make sure you have a bin <laughs> handy. <laughs> um, there's probably going to be a lot of hair. Uh, and then finally you want a towel or a waterproof pad of some sort to put your piggy in. So I find it easier to cut Annie's hair while she's on my lap. But for the purpose of the video I'm going to try it here with her on the table in front of me. And basically what I'm aiming to do here and what I think is a good way to help keep them clean and keep them happy is to cut the hair quite short around the sides and uh, especially around the bum. I'll show you what it's like at the moment. You just face that way for us. There we go. So it's kind of long down there. Not too long but uh, definitely longer than I'd like it. Um, so we'd like to cut it very short around that bum area <laughs> and then just snip any longer parts that might be kind of coming down off her back as well. Um, to get started I'm going to cut any parts where she's not going to flinch or jump too much. So I probably start by doing these bits here on the side. Are you a good piggy? Texel's hair is quite good to cut because it kind of um, comes off in little chunks locks that are easier to pick up. So she's just vibrating a bit so we can tell she's nervous but she's not moving around yet which is good. Does not like having her hair messed with at all despite appearances actually. <laughs> um, in the past she has booked around, squealed, tried to leap off my lap and generally just moving out of the way whenever possible to avoid the scissors. Um, and then over time I've learned that the best way to go about trimming her hair, um, especially if you have stroppy piggies like Annie here, is just to be gentle and slow. Uh, so gentle that you don't actually want them to even feel that you're doing anything. So I hope that you notice when I'm kind of picking up the hair I'm just doing it you know, really gentle. I don't want her to feel that I'm grasping any kind of hair here and then just cutting it with the scissors. I'm not pulling it in any way. So another tip is to just be patient. Take your time. They'll probably need a break to go back in the cage for a little munch of hay and to go to the toilet, but that's fine. It's much easier doing it like this very slow way and very gentle than trying to cut more off at a time and because then they'll just become stressed and start moving around, bucking up and down and stuff. So when I've cut some of the hair down from her back, I'll gradually start doing the sides more until I finally get around to the bum area. Just another quick tip, if you um, do use the scissors then um, it helps just to kind of do them in little short little cuts so you don't try to snip it all off in one big snip you kind of just do it gently 
like this and that way you're not pulling on the hair at all so you're helping keep them calm again so I think we'll just speed this up while I go around and do more of the side areas I hope you can also see that while I'm doing this, Annie's hair is not really knotted or tangled in any way. There might only be some kind of small knots around this area. Um, and it might actually be surprising to hear that uh, the only time I ever brush or comb her hair is after a bath. And that only happens about twice a year. In my experience, Annie hates having her hair brushed um, and she doesn't really need it. So I think if I did do it then she would just become stressed and then associate having her hair messed with as a bad and a stressful experience which I think in turn would then make it harder for me to trim her hair. It might be different for some different breeds, maybe um, those with less curly hair. It is advised in books that you kind of brush long haired piggies every day but I don't think that's really needed, um, especially if they find it stressful. I found that when I did brush her hair I only could manage to do this top part and maybe down the sides a bit um, without stressing her out too much and this hair here never really gets in any knots or tangles anyway. Okay so I'm getting around to the rear, I hope you can see that she's nice and trimmed down the sides here and a bit on top and she's kind of got this fluffy bit uh, hanging out at the bottom. And. Uh, here I really like to cut this hair very short, as short as I can go really, um, and this just prevents it from getting matted up and so it can't soak up too much pee. And if there are any little knots around here, um, I very carefully snip them off. I don't pull on them at all with my hands, I just go get as close as I can with the scissors and snip them off. Whoops! Okay, so that's the kind of thing she used to do a lot, and that's that jumping away, so I must have kind of pulled a little bit of hair there by accident, I think. So I'll just kind of get her back into position. Sorry, piggy. I also find that she keeps a bit calmer if I just um, go to stroke her every so often. The only place Annie really likes stroking is up here, right behind her head area, so I don't really stroke her here too much. We're going to go in again. Oh, okay, she's running off. <clears throat> So for some reason she's just um, a bit more comfortable on my lap. Maybe it's because she doesn't really have anywhere to go if she wanted to move away. Which works for me. Use the same method. Only go in with the scissors instead of grasping or pulling the hair up using my hands. All I'm doing with my hand is using it to lift the hair above back so I can kind of get into this shorter hair down here and cut it back shorter than that hair above it. So whilst you're cutting the hair, um, it's a good opportunity to kind of look over their skin as well and um, give them a little health check. So on Annie, I can, st I can see that she still has some of the static lice or hay mites and these are like very small brown specks attached to the hairs and um, they're just a very kind of small mite and they survive by eating little bits of skin debris and they don't actually cause the piggies any problems and they aren't there in huge numbers uh, and I have tried before unsuccessfully to get rid of them. They're a bit stubborn in that they... Um, 
are often immune to like the ivermectin and stuff that will kill off the other parasites. So I've kind of given up trying to get rid of them. Um, and as they don't cause the piggies any harm whatsoever, I think um, they're not too big a problem to worry about. Um, so whilst you're here, you might want to have a look at the skin and see if there's any redness or flaking that could indicate other parasites, such as running lice or even mange mites, if you're not sure if your piggy has them or not. Um, and I'll put a link to my videos on, on these two topics on the screen now. <clears throat> I'm just going to finish trimming around her bum area, <laughs> so I might speed this up a bit. So this is kind of how short I like to cut it on Annie. You might not want to go so short yourself on your own piggies, but um, I've become more confident at cutting her hair so I'm very confident that I won't um, cut her by accident um, so I think it's best for it works better for me to kind of cut it back this short every time I do it and I think she's more comfortable because of it so then I think we're all done aren't we piggy that wasn't too bad was it so there we go Annie is all finished I think she behaved very well especially when I was doing the back and the sides um, she got a bit agitated when I was doing around her bum but I think that's quite normal and I hope that you picked up some advice for kind of <laughs> cutting the long haired piggies and uh, dealing with those that do get a little bit stressed out you're looking a bit grumpy now aren't you piggy you want to go back in your cage yes you know so here's the kind of finished product <laughs> I've cut all along the sides down here I've cut like various parts on top so it doesn't look too long and hanging over. Um, there's the other side. And the bum. If you would just turn around for us, pig. Here we go. There's her bum. So that's all very short round there, which will help keep her clean and happy, which is what we want, isn't it, piggy? Oh, <laughs> you look so grumpy. Okay. Um, so that's everything from this video and as always thank you for watching and if you have any questions at all please comment below and in the description box um, you can find a summary of kind of some of the advice I gave and you can also find the links to my Etsy shop and my Facebook page which you should like if you haven't already and thank you for all the new subscribers as well it really means a lot um, so thanks again please comment uh, rate and subscribe and thank you for watching. Goodbye from me and goodbye from Annie.